Hello and welcome to this video presentation on the configuration management plan. My name is Ryan and I'll be representing group 2, MindCube. So this is the configuration structure. There are three main categories, documents, project management, development. Documents contain all the documents required in this project. Project management assists us in monitoring the progress of this project. More development contains all the source codes for both the robot and the GUI. I'll now like to go into further detail. For the documents, there's a format that we are recommending. Basically, the format is such that there will be the document name followed by the version number and then the date. Um, the project management would have, like mentioned earlier, all the files related to the progress of this um, project. And um, the development site will be divided into three categories, trunk, branches and tags. The trunk will contain the working copy of the project, while the branches will contain the upgrades of the project. The tags would be to contain the finished products for the milestones especially. The, the development files, um, basically there are two kinds, the embedded and the GUI. Embedded files refers to the source codes for the robot, while the GUI refers to the source codes for the GUI itself. The documentation plan, there are four main documents, system requirement specifications, software project management plan, um, the software design document and the user manual as shown. So for documentation plan, um, how we prepare our documents is to have the document divided into portions and we will assign these portions to different group members. Uh, group members are expected to adhere to the standards as described by the software project management plan. And at the end of the day, all this will be compiled into latex format and vetted by another team member before the submission. So this is the quality assurance plan. There is five main categories, code testing, unit testing, integration testing, hardware testing, and code standardization. For code testing, basically we have the documentation team testing the codes that are written by the development team and uh, this is good because it allows us to see the codes from a brand new perspective and to determine if there is anything that requires fixing. Unit testing is done by the development team is to ensure that the functions written are all handle exceptions properly as well as meet the objectives. Integration testing is to test whether the functions can work together and produce the correct results. While hardware testing makes sure that the software and the hardware do not conflict and are also capable of working together to ensure the project functions properly. Code standardization is for the professional outlook that we seek to achieve uh, in the process of developing this project. Thank you for your time.